Welcome to the next lecture of module number 4 that is classification module and in this lecture we will be understanding all about decision tree. So decision tree is of two types as I have already explained you in the regression module it's of classification and for regression and in this lecture I will be explaining you decision tree with respect to the classification problem and in case of regression module I have told you that I'll explain you the maths all involved in the decision tree. So this is the lecture in which I'll be explaining you all the maths, split, entropy, gain, everything in this lecture that you need to understand about decision trees working. So for our work, let's take the example. This is our data set and we have to predict that based on these four parameters that is outlook, temperature, humidity and wind can a person play a golf or not right so what we have to do is we have to prepare a decision tree so that we can reach to a conclusion that yes whether a person can play or not so we have to classify our data in these two labels so let's see how so first of all let's understand the three important terms associated with decision tree first is entropy Entropy is dependent on the label that is yes label or no label. So we have to calculate the entropy for these labels. So entropy is the measure of uncertainty. Higher the entropy, higher the uncertainty. And the formula is the probability log probability. Don't worry, I'll explain you. And then we have information needed. This is with respect to the parameter or the attribute then we have to calculate the information gain that is on splitting our decision tree on that particular parameter what is the gain so gain is the information this information d is the entropy of the label this is the entropy of the label and this information a d is the entropy of the with respect to attribute right so let's begin with our lecture now this is our data set okay so this is the data set we are given to us and now we have to prepare our decision tree so first of all we have to calculate the gain for parameter outlook for temperature for humidity and for wind we have to calculate the gain that on which parameter can we split our decision tree so first of all, we'll be cal calculating the entropy that is info D. So we will calculate this for two labels, yes and no. Now you can count the total number of entries of yes and no. So yes has a total entries of nine and no has a total entry of five. So calculating the entropy, this is I nine comma five, which is which, e which equals to as per the formula this is minus 9 by 4 probability of being yes is 9 by 14 log base 2 probability again probability of being yes that is 9 by 14 minus probability of being no that is 5 by 14 log 5 by 14 right so this is basically I 9,5 is equals to minus of PI log PI summation of minus PI log PI. So this is minus PI for yes is 9 by 14 log 9 by 14 minus 5 by 14 log 5 by 14. So this is the entropy of the labels. Now we have to calculate the information needed or the entropy of the attribute. So first of all, we'll take the example of outlook, right? So we have three parameters, sunny, overcast, rainy. Uh, that means we have three different labels in outlook that is sunny, overcast and rainy and the labels we are predicting yes or no. So, so let's talk about sunny. So sunny and yes one, sunny and yes two, sunny and yes three, sunny is only three times. So sunny and yes comes three times sunny and no is two times for overcast we have only yes parameters no no parameter and for any we have two yes parameter three no parameters 
and then we calculate the entropy or the information for the para attribute outlook so it is p sunny into entropy 3 comma 2 probability of overcast into 4 comma 0 and probability of rainy into e2 comma 3 so now this is e3 comma 2 e4 comma 0 e2 comma 3 will follow the same formula as i 9 comma 5 e 3 comma 2 will follow the same formula and it will be equals to minus of 3 by 5 log to the base 2 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 log to the base 2 2 by 5 right and this will be the value of e3 comma 2 similarly we will calculate for e4 comma 0 e2 comma 3 and these are the values right and now probability of sunny is total is 5 so 5 by 14 for overcast is 4 by 14 and for rainy is 5 by 14 so probability into entropy of this parameter probability into entropy of this parameter and this will be the information gain for the entire attribute outlook and now if I say what it means to say this if I say e3 comma 2 that means outlook equal to sunny has 5 out of 14 samples that is 5 out of 14 samples with 3s that is that is 3 comma 2 so this means with 3 yes and 2 no so it has a total of 5 attributes out of 14 with 3 yes and 2 no and we are finding the information gain information needed and now we have to find the gain for the parameter outlook which will be equal to information of the label that is entropy of label minus information of attribute that is entropy of attribute which is equals to 0.246 right so this is the formula information of the labels minus the information of the attribute so as i have explained you about the outlook parameter similarly we'll follow the same same steps for temperature humidity and wind and this will be the gain values for these parameter so the highest gain value is for the outlook so we'll split our tree with respect to the outlook parameter so we have split we have prepared our tree with a split from outlook outlook has three parameters sunny overcast and rainy now in case of overcast you can clearly see that each overcast parameter is having yes value right so overcast will directly read to yes so if outlook is overcast then definitely a player can play golf we need not to look for rest of the three parameters that what gain means that means overlook outlook is a very strong parameter to predict whether a person can play or not in case of overcast now we'll talk about sunny so in case of sunny if we take the example of sunny these are the parameters we take so it is sunny 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 and sunny so you can see mild mild cool cool mild mild so these are the data points taken for sunny and in case of sunny it's very clearly seen that if wind is false then a person can play a golf and if wind is true then person can't play golf so that means if we have sunny plus the wind is false then yes a person can play otherwise no right this is how we prepare a decision tree okay so we have reached to the conclusion with respect to sunny also with respect to the overcost also now we have we are left with rainy in case of rainy it's clearly with the if else loop so this was the rainy and if our outlook is sunny and wind is false 
right uh, wait wait and suppose this is rainy and now in case of rainy this is rainy 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 in case of rainy if the humidity is high right then it's definitely that a player cannot play so rainy humidity high means no and rainy humidity normal means yes so this is how we prepare a decision tree this is how we calculate on which parameter we have to split the, i am saying you that we can clearly see from the data that we have to split after rainy we have to split from humidity high and normal right so what i am doing is after rainy i am directly splitting to humidity just by c but you can follow the same steps you can follow the info of the humidity parameter you can follow find the info of the temperature parameter humidity parameter windy parameter with respect to the rainy and then find the gain and you will come up with the conclusion that yes you have to split with respect to humidity and you will again form this tree right so this conclusion if you follow the mathematics you will come up to this tree only for the sake of this video i have cut short that part but if you perform that that mathematics also you will come up with this decision tree so this is all the maths behind decision tree algorithm this is how you use entropy gain and the split info we'll understand how we can use a python code to classify using a decision tree you have also seen that we have used decision tree for regression task we can use model so all will remain the same till the training of our models so i am loading the libraries that's our study data we have which are which is having two parameters that is the repetition time and study time and we are predicting knowledge level and there are two classes low and high we have total 258 entries with us okay so there are two classes low and high and there are 151 data entries in high and 107 in low so data is pretty much balanced now we are splitting our data to input and output okay and now since our output is a categorical data so we have to find so we have to convert that categorical data to a numeric form and for doing so we are using get dummies method okay now this is the this is where we are splitting our data to training and testing parts now we have to scale our data because the data distribution is different so we are getting ourselves ensured that we are using a similar distribution when we are training our models now it's time to train our model for that what i'll be using is i'm importing decision tree classifier from tree module so from sk learn dot tree import decision tree classifier okay and then let's name it as dt and we'll use this decision tree classifier over here right and then the random state let's mention it okay and the criteria we using is entropy now let's train our model so we'll use fit x sorry x train y train okay so the decision tree classifier is trained now now we'll predict the values so y predict equals to dt dot predict x test right and now the results we are using confusion matrix over here that's the confusion matrix so it's showing 100% result because the data is not very much uh, is not so big to train our models so that's why it is giving a 100% accuracy okay now let's the model visualization wait a second 
so it's dt over here so you can see that's the model how it's trained you can see it's the hypothesis it's giving is so accurate that it's saying that all it's what it's saying is that all the green points are belonging to class one and all the red dots or all the red, uh, red data points are belonging to class which is 100% true and our model is 100% accurate while classifying the data points and this is the hypothesis it's been building up right so this was about decision tree in the next coming lecture we'll understand about random forest which is nothing but an ensemble of decision tree classifier so this was all for this lecture thank you